Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Drummond here and today I'm going to be reading Sonny's Treasure Hunt. Sonny was bored. He had built houses with bricks, he had looked at all his pictures and he had played for hours with his jumpy spider. Sonny needed someone to play with. Mum, while you play with me, shouted Sonny over the noise of the vacuum cleaner. I'm busy, shouted Mum. You can always help me if you're bored. Will you play with me? Sonny asked Uncle Jim. I'm bored. I'm too busy doing this weeding, said Uncle Jim. I wish I had time to be bored. Sonny phoned his friend Katie, but she was going to visit her auntie. I'm bored out of my feather, sighed Sonny, as he dragged his feet into the living room where Grandma was busy knitting. No one will play with me, Gran. When I was a young duckling and had no one to play with, said Grandma, my mum would send me on a treasure hunt. Can I do one? asked Sonny, looking excited. Yes, cried Gran. You can stay here and I'll go and hide the treasure. No peeking. When Grandma came back, she handed Sonny a piece of paper. Here is a picture of where the treasure is hidden. The picture was of a teapot. Sonny skipped to the kitchen. Sonny looked in the cupboard. He looked on the table and he even looked under the table. At last he found the teapot by the sink. Inside it was his first treasure and the next clue. The picture was of a pair of red wellies, and Sonny knew where to find these. Wow, said Sonny as he tipped them upside down, and a ball bounced onto the floor. The next clue led Sonny up to his own bed. What are you doing? asked Mum, as Sonny looked under his bed. Looking for treasure, said Sonny. Can I help? asked Mum as she started searching the bed for treasure. Aha! cried Mum as she found a whistle under Sonny's pillow. The next clue was a watering can. Mum and Sonny raced outside. Stop! yelled Mum to Uncle Jim who was about to fill up the watering can. Mum explained the treasure hunt to Uncle Jim. What great fun! he said as he pulled a silly paper hat from the can. Can I join in? Let's see what the next clue is. It's the garden. They looked behind the bushes. They looked underneath the sunflowers. They looked behind the trees. Sonny was worried that everyone else would find the treasure before he did. Then Sonny yelled, I found it! I found it! I found the treasure! He held up a huge bar of chocolate and a bag of balloons and everyone cheers. Cheers. Sonny had had a brilliant day, but he was tired. Tomorrow, said Sonny with a full beak of chocolate, I, I think I'll play all by myself. Then I can be sure I'll find all the treasure. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed my story. Bye.